All right, guys. Quiet All right, audio. so we have a series Bible. It's coming. Uh, this is a vampire flick that was uh, written. It's a web series. Um, it's a series. Yeah, whole series Bible. Bible yeah. Um, okay, so we involved Arden Sudik. Um, it involves a turf war between the uh, um, resist the vampire resistance and the vampire alliance. Um, it uh, regarding obsolescence, uh, Nick at the beginning is obs <laughs> obsolete against the vampires. <laughs> uh, <laughs> featuring Rebel, this is the uh, what's the character's name? He's the leader of the uh, vampire resistance. Um, involves a person, place, or thing. Uh, involves a fall from grace uh, at the beginning. Uh, Nick falls from his grace of everyday life. Involves an escape on uh, episode one. Uh, vampires attack and Nick escapes. Uh, regarding Aaron involves lost innocence, uh, just like how Nick lost fell from grace. Um, Nick's innocence was lost uh, essentially when uh, he realizes that uh, life isn't as nice as it used to be. Uh, involved Amy Harvey. Uh, involving a nightmare. Uh, this is a literal nightmare come true for Nick when vampires come and kill everybody, or you know, everybody. Uh, involving a hunter. Um, there are vampire hunters that are going after Nick. It's regarding unrequited love. Um, Amy Cox uh, is one of the characters and uh, has unrequited love for Nick. Um, involved Mercedes Morgan. It includes a powerful ally. Uh, Nick meets with the leader of the Resistance, who is a powerful ally to help him. Uh, we involve Jeffrey Sandejas. It includes a Harbinger of Doom. Uh, this is the leader of... <laughs> This is the leader of the uh, uh, Vampire Alliance. Uh, it comes, uh, involves a sneak attack. Uh, the vampire is a sneak attack in episode one when the vampires come and start killing people. Uh, featuring somebody waiting. In episode... Uh, where is it? Episode like three or four? Uh, Nick's friend Joel asks him to meet up in the forest. And so uh, Nick is waiting for him there. But he never shows up. Um, regards the news. Uh, the news is broken to jo uh, to Nick that he is, in fact, a vampire. It um, includes a symbol of hope. Um, the vampire resistance uses Nick as a symbol of hope to help out with their cause. Uh, we included George Hall, Zachary Madden. Uh, a close shave. Um, in episode one, Nick barely makes it out of the vampire attack. It involves a bounty. Uh, the vampire alliance has a bounty out for Nick. It involves a chase. Um, in episode... Um, uh, three, the Vampire Alliance is chasing Nick, uh, featuring a collision. Uh, this collision is between uh, the Vampire Alliance and the Vampire Resistance. Uh, it involves greed. The Vampire Alliance is greedy, and it's about fate. Uh, there is a prophecy that a um, prince is going to come out, and so Nick turns out to be that prophecy. Uh, we involved um, Claire. How do you say her last name? Hoopy? Hoppy? Claire. Claire. Hoopy! <laughs> Uh, involving a challenge, uh, Nick takes up the challenge of becoming, um, of fulfilling the prophecy. Uh, it involves Austin Kilgore. And finally, regarding psychological torment, uh, the Vampire Alliance, the Alliance goes through, or puts Nick through psychological torment. Oh, his hat smells so <laughs> Yes, it does. Alright. Alright, so.